you gotten through season four yet of the show? Yeah, I have. Sadly, I have. Yeah, I have. What, what, were, your, what were your impressions of, uh, especially the ending and what happened with Coach Brown there? I mean, Coach Brown overall, he's a great guy. He cares for his kids. You know, he uh, produces everyone, get them out, get them where they will, um, want to go. D1, everyone JUCO. So, uh, I mean, it sucks that he had to resign the way he did and all that after all he did for that school and all that. But you know, I mean, guy has a plan for him. Were you familiar with uh, with Dion McIntosh? I believe you guys were kind of in the same area, or maybe even the same league. Did, did you know him at all growing up? And, yeah, yeah, I knew him growing up. Uh, he actually went to a school that was in my district, uh, Cardinal Gibbons, and uh, he was a crazy athlete, dominated. But I never got a chance to play against him. But I'm real familiar with him. Did were, were you part of the recruiting process to bring him here? I mean, when did you hear that that he was thinking about coming here and? and Ended up coming here, obviously. I mean, I didn't hear it until actually this summer. Uh, Coach Brown mentioned it to Lamont, and I was just so happy to be next to Lamont. He was like, Deion McIntosh is coming here. I was like, really? And because uh, Lamont actually played with him at Cardinal Gibbons, because uh, I'm very familiar with Lamont too. We grew up in the same area. And uh, when I found out, I was like, wow, that's actually insane. Because uh, I knew he went to Notre Dame out of uh, college, but after he went to Notre Dame, I lost track of him. I didn't know he went to UCO. Do you know if Lamont kind of headed that uh, maybe recruitment, knowing that he was available and, and growing up with him? Did he bring that to anyone's attention, or do you think that was just purely on the coaches who, who found him and brought him in? I mean, I'm not 100% sure. You know, uh, I mean, I wouldn't doubt. I mean, Lamont probably said a few things to him, you know, tell him uh, to come here and all that, big family and all that stuff. So, I mean, I wouldn't doubt Lamont said anything to him. You work against, you know, Derek Langford and Shimon Moore every day as, as guys who also came from JUCO. How would you... You know, assess where they're at in, in their first year. Man, those guys are great. I mean, coming from JUCO, um, you got a little dog in you. So, you know, they're used to playing under pressure, used to playing against the top tier talent at all cases and all um, levels. So, I mean, going against them in practice is real great. You know, I get some good work, they get great work, and overall, we all get better. What's the competition between you and Tay like? Uh, and uh, obviously, you guys are probably both going to play and leech to use the eight guys, but you guys are probably still fighting for who gets more reps in games and, and situational uh, stuff. I mean, it's very competitive. You know, uh, Tay's a great guy, <laughs> athlete. I mean, I'm still learning stuff from him, and he's learning stuff from me. I mean, after play after play, if we if he do something different than I do, he'll come up to me like, "Yo, how did that look?" I'm like, it "Look great." I mean. And then I'll probably jot that down on my notebook, like uh, run this the same way Tate did, because uh, Coach Spurrier loves the way Tate comes in and out of his breaks as well. So I've been taking notes on that too. So uh, I'm trying to get better at coming in and out of my breaks as well. It seems that Coach Leach is, you know, particularly tough on the receivers, maybe not particularly tough, but tough on the receivers. And, and get, is that just because he knows how good you guys can be? And, and... Yeah, I mean, Leach has high expectations for us, and, uh, along with uh, everyone in the country. But, you know, uh, we're just taking it day by day and uh, getting better. What are your favorite uh, Steve Springer-isms? I mean, he has a kind of a, a bunch of different things he says repeatedly out there and tells the big guys to, to be big and really yeah. good. And what are, what are your favorite things that he says out I there? I mean, I don't know. Spurrier's a great coach. Uh, he says a lot of great things, but the, our receiver room tend to uh, just mock him a few times, like in the group chat, because the way he texts and the way he talks. I mean, we just like, he says really good at least like 50 times of practice, so we, we if we do something good in the drill, we're just like really good, really good, just mocking him and all that stuff as a joke. But he knows we're joking around and all that stuff. He loves it too, so I mean it's pretty funny at the end of the day. Anything else for Calvin? Thanks, man.